The Beef and Barnsey Show, brought to you by BowlersMart.com, trusted by bowlers around the world since 2004. By Lightning Strikes Bowl, home of Bowlers Mart Pro Shop. By Platinum Ford, drive the difference. By Fire Lake Bowling Center, 24 state-of-the-art lanes. By True Grit Coatings, drive on our passion. By Road to Grip, king of them all. By 900 Global, striking worldwide. All right, well, we've got more questions. Uh, good morning, Mr. Eddie. Uh, we've got more questions about the altered reality, so let's start there. All right. Uh, I've got a bit of a video file for us, so let me throw that up. Um, so we got um, a few shots of me and a few shots of Chris. Um, we're born at Plano. This one's on the house shot. Um, if you want to get a more in-depth look at this, um, check out the YouTube videos. We've got a new one that went up today. Um, we've got videos all over. You have evidence. I had a bird dog. Yeah. Not today, Williams. Not today. <laughs> um, yeah, but you video, and I watch every shot, so it's hard to throw a bird dog when you do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the main issue that you had with this ball on the house shot was that it hooked too much. It you. did. It, it, the core is, you know, it's the same core as the reality. It is much quicker uh, off the spot, uh, which for me in those big balls tends makes it a little trickier because it uh, it does it does it's much sharper off the break point. And then for me, it gets going a little forward because I'm a little more forward with my roll versus you. And then for you, it makes it pick up more, and then it really gets around the corner. Uh, as you can see, I was having a good time walking them out. <laughs> yeah. And I was in between the ones that felt like they wanted to go high and then a little behind it. And it's not unlike how we like balls in general. You like asymmetrical balls. I tend to like more symmetrical balls. Uh, this one impressed me, though. I was pretty close to uh, – uh, it, it was close to making the six-ball rotation with no <laughs> with no real tournament experience, which uh, – um, So – couple of things here. How would you compare the altered reality to the dark code? I think the altered reality is much stronger. Yeah. Um, I've seen other blogs uh, and other places that feel like it's going to fit in between the dark code and the, the X2. Darren, I, I don't see that at all. No, like, I, I think the altered reality is much stronger than the dark code. Um, it's much stronger than the X2 as well. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He sees it in that gap between yeah, it, those two. It, and I, I don't see that at all. Yeah, it's stronger cover and core than both those balls. Like, for me, it is. But I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, but that's the beauty of this. Darren puts on some really nice videos. Um, we're a little bit more rough and ready. Um, and, you know, different roles and different viewpoints and – Darren gets a lot more wrapped up in the numbers than I do. I kind of just get more wrapped up in what I see it do. Um, sometimes that's bad. Sometimes that's good. Um, but like for me, the altered is by far the strongest of all of the uh, quicker balls that we have right now. I, I think this is a much closer comparison. Daniel Leeton Davies. Uh, will any of these new balls make the bag? And then how does the alter compare to the UFO alert? I think that's, much closer than dark the other one. one. Yeah, I mean, to me, I feel like that the altered is like um, more similar shape wise to the dark code in that it's quite quick, but it's more similar in the strength of the UFO alert. Um, I, I feel like the UFO alert is much more rounded than the altered. Um, I would agree. I, and it looks like it's a little sharper. But the cores, I mean, those are both really big cores. Yeah. But uh, I like I like the UFO alert to blend out the wet dry when we get late. I think it's really good at that. Like for me anyway, when because when we get left, the two handers love the UFO alert. Lantony Lavery loves it as well. True. Because it, it doesn't over jump off the dry. I kind of use the altered a little bit like that this weekend as well. But I still felt like it was a little more responsive off the dry than I would have wanted it to be, or off the breakdown than I'd want it to be. 
Um, so yeah, for me, the um, the altered reality is in the same ballpark as the UFO alert. Maybe I, for me, it might even be a touch stronger, but it's definitely quicker. Um, oof, um, it's nothing like the trend two, and like yeah, I'll be I'll be perfectly candid. The parallax effect didn't really get any prayer with me because I hated the parallax. So the parallax effect was pretty strong. And I just didn't really have that much interest in throwing it after the after the original parallax. I really only threw it just to get a video up on it. So And I've never thrown it, so no help there at all. But the altered is a much, much bigger core than the trend two. Um, Perhaps the cover covers are somewhat similar, but it, it'll overall be a much stronger ball. Yeah. Um Altered reminds me of the Halo Pearl. Um, the U, I, not for me. Um, the Halo Pearl is much more like the X2 for me. Um, super clean cover. I don't really feel like the Altered Reality has a super clean cover. Um, I think it's really strong, in fact. So, um, yeah, I think out of the box, because it comes so shiny, I can see where. Like say Darren said, that that ball kind of fit in there. I I do believe it's, you know, there's a lot of polish on it, and if you leave it on there, it it will be pretty clean for a while. Uh, when we played around with a little bit and just took a little light two thousand with it to see the next step, that was where you could really see the strength of the cover underneath it. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I do think relatively quickly you'll see that that cover is is. Considerably stronger than the X2 and Darko, which are on the much cleaner end uh, and, and quicker end. Uh, I believe all that polish, I think the core just makes it still very strong, even with all that polish on it. And uh, and that's kind of where it sets apart is much like the Zen, uh, you know, it can have a lot of polish on it and still pick up in oil. And uh, I think that's where it sets apart. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, may, may, maybe I'll throw a video together um, on that. Yeah, we've seen that a few times, so maybe that's a good. Um, your I can see that, Brian. For sure, my wife's altered, outhooked a reality by ten boards. I can see that. Um, my wife, um, with slower speed, she didn't really have that much use for the re original reality because we just don't bowl that many tournaments where there's that much oil. And, and there's a lot of friction. Yeah. It didn't really, it was hard to get it to keep going through the pins. Um, so yeah, I could see that where it, it doesn't burn up as much. And then you get that same core down the lane, but with more energy. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Um, um, I mean, I, I guess you could probably replace the original Rubicon with a Helios. Um but let's we'll stick with the altered for now, and then we'll move on to the Helios. Um, uh, altered is a good step down from your bigger balls like Reality or Proton Physics on heavier oil patterns. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and that's where it should fit in. Similar cores, fairly similar, <laughs> but the polish is going to be the step off to let get you through the front. Yeah. Um. And our resident, our resident numb nuts, uh, you know, Alter versus Sunstorm. Basically, I mean, I mean, you have to be really old to even know the boys talking about. But uh, uh, it's almost as obnoxious in color as the Helios. <laughs> <laughs> well, the red one was pretty good. The yellow one was uh, was obnoxious for sure. Uh, Bill Christman's favorite ball, the Red Sunstorm. Uh, I, I held on to one of those a long time. Even yeah. he uh, he always pulls it. He always has it for nationals. It's great. Uh, the guy the guy the guy can throw any ball ever made basically. And if he if they don't have one, he can force <laughs> them to go downstairs and make one. Like oh, I need an alpha crooks. Okay, boss, we'll go and hand pour you one. <laughs> no, no, my man wants to throw a red sunstorm. It's amazing. Love yep. it. Um. Uh... <laughs> the altered reality is Stu, Stu is a beast. Uh, yeah, if you like if you like asymmetrical balls and need and like the you know big cores and those work well for you, this is going to be a ball you're going to use a lot uh, when they hook a little bit in the front. It's mm -hmm. uh, it has 
I think it definitely has a good window. It uh, and it has a usability. If you're a reality fan, if you're, you know, like I said, we'll do. Uh, it's a great idea. We'll try and do a comparison with UFO Alert and try and get that up fairly soon for you, so you can see uh, the differences as well.